Handsome Jack of Have Gas Will Travel. I made a video this morning on, uh, I guess it's kind of a prepping video. Uh, and I got back some comments that I kind of wanted to address here. Uh, the first one, I got my laptop, the other laptop right here so I can address them. Deborah Me 55 says, agree, I would think that shelter, food, water, and a heat source will be the keys. Gold, silly. By the way, what exactly are we expecting to happen? So I'll address that first. I'm not really expecting anything to happen. Uh, I'm just saying be prepared. Uh, there's all kinds of things that could happen, but hopefully none of them will. But I would like to be prepared just in case they do. Uh, we didn't expect the World Trade Centers to be hit by planes either. It happened. Uh, the bombings that are going on overseas all the time and are now going on here. We didn't expect them to happen. They happened. Uh, there's not a lot you can do about it. But now that they know, they never expected the planes would be used for that. Now they do. So now they're more... I'm not going to say they have the best system in the world. Because I know if somebody really wants to do something, they'll find a way. I'm just saying that now we're a little more prepared. And that's all I was trying to say about this here is I want to be prepared. And uh, like I say, I don't know. Your question was do I, what was going to happen. I don't know. But something could happen. So it doesn't hurt to be a little more prepared. All right. Number two. From, uh, and I'm not sure that I'm pronouncing these names right. I'm just doing the best I can. It was... MS Diane White Dove. If I had started prepping when the word was out in 2000, all that shit would be expired. True. But, you're supposed to rotate your food stocks. Uh, if you buy canned goods and like that, you don't let them set in a box somewhere for 20 years. You buy stuff that you that you can rotate out. In other words, uh, if you got four or five cans of beans there, for example, uh, you must cook beans at home once in a while. Take a couple of those cans, use them, replace them with new stock. That's not hard. And uh, it would save. I'm not saying you have to go down and buy six or eight months worth of food. Uh, I'm just saying that have some on hand. Uh, you don't need a lot. And I never said anything about buying a bunch of food. I said I'd go down and buy a couple jars of coffee and like that. I don't plan on having stuff here that's going to last me for the next 10 years. I probably won't live that long. So I'm just saying be prepared. Okay. If anything huge happens, your storage shit is up for grabs. Well, yeah, if you tell everybody where it is. Uh, I know in the RV it's kind of hard to hide it, but I've got it, and it's up for grabs, but if I'm moving around or I'm in a location where they can't, where I'm not easily found, which is what I said, I would pick an old logging road or something, pull up in there and set up. If things got too hot there, i just move somewhere else, but better to have something than have nothing is the way that I look at it. Okay. If you've got something, if you've got something someone else wants, it's not yours anymore. Not true. Uh, it could be, but uh, not necessarily. Uh, if you're going to stay right there in your house and people are going rent through ransacking houses down through, they're going to find you. So I don't know what to tell you there, other than the fact that. Uh, this was mainly for the RV. All right. Uh, you, all nutty buddy talk. You know how mob mentality works. I don't plan on being where there's a mob. If there's a mob, I'm gone. I don't want to be where there's a bunch of people. I want to be out kind of separate. Uh, 
There may be a few other people there, but I know that uh, one couple cannot survive on their own. It takes it takes like a little community. When I say a little community, I mean a dozen people. Uh, if you're in the right area and you have a few things with you, you know, you can start a garden like that. But if you've got 10 or 12 people there, everybody shares. And everybody helps with the work. Because if it takes six or seven months to get things going back up again, you want to garden and stuff so that you can replenish what you've got. Because you're not going to be able to go to the store. All right. Uh... All the end times talk, and I've heard plenty of it, waste of time. I didn't say it was end of times. I said, and it wouldn't, you're thinking, you know, somebody's going to drop a friggin' bomb, that's going to be it. I don't agree with that. Uh, I think it's going to be something simple. Power grid going down, or if that power grid goes down, you're not buying anything. Uh... That's not doom and gloom. That's just a possibility that could actually happen. I worked on power plants all up and down the East Coast for the last uh, 20 years. And I know what kind of shape they're in. So that doesn't make any sense. All right. Uh, new beginnings with Buddha and Cindy. Uh, only goal I hold on to are meaningful pieces to me. I work with a jewelry store at all times, or jewelry store at times, to help fill in their hours. And we buy gold from individuals, and it is, it is down at the moment, not really a good time to sell. I'm not telling you to sell your gold. Uh, I'm telling you what I would do. I don't, I'm not trying to influence anybody, uh, if you think, because I could be wrong. I'm just going by what I think. So, I don't want you being sorry later on because, well, I listened to Handsome Jack, and he said sell. No, I'm not telling you to sell. I'm just telling you what I would do. Uh, I know it may not come off that way, but I don't want to see anybody getting rid of something because of me. I'm just doing what I think is right. Okay. One more. RCRV. You are talking in circles. First you said buy more stuff, not gold, then said not to buy too much stuff. That's not what I said. I said to buy stuff that will serve a dual purpose. Stuff that you can use. Now, and yet, it makes sense to have it as a prepper too. That's what I said. Uh, then I talked about how useless money will be then it must, he must have left the word out. Then you, you was left out. Then you talked about how useless money will be. Yeah, I think it will be. That's my opinion. I don't expect everybody to, if everybody had the same opinion I had, things would be pretty boring. There would be no need to make these videos because everybody would already know. This is my opinion. You, you're welcome to your own. I don't want to make anybody mad or anything. It's just my opinion. Then you talked about, all right, I did that already. No one is telling people to buy gold before supplies. I never said that either. I never said anything about anybody. I said a few people I know are stocking, really stocking up on gold. And I just think it's, in my opinion, they should be stocking up on other stuff first. Then if they want some gold, that's fine. I mean, it's it's up to them to do what they want. I'm just saying what I would do. Okay. They're saying that once you have all the supplies you need, spend anything left on tradable items like gold. You have three options. Buy more stuff than you can use or carry. Buy tradable items like gold once you have everything you need and can carry. Or you buy what you need and can carry and then say the something currency you have left and hope it has value later. 
Pick one, I will take option two. Well, the last one kind of bothers me a little bit. It says, uh, you buy what you need and can carry, and then save the something currency. I'm not sure what it's supposed to be. Uh, and then save the currency you have left and hope it has value later. Well, I don't believe it's going to have value later. This is my opinion now. I didn't hear this from anybody else and I don't want to influence anybody. I don't think it's going to have any value later. I think what they'll do is the currency right now is so inflated. They're printing it and printing it and printing it. And they don't have the gold or anything to back it up, which is the way it was supposed to, originally it was set up, gold and silver to back it up. Uh, if you don't have the money, the gold to back it up, basically it's, it's just a piece of paper. It's a dollar bill, a five dollar bill, a $50 bill, a $100 bill. It's just a piece of paper. If, for, if something should happen, and like I keep saying, I don't... It's possible. I don't think it's going to happen, but it's possible. And that was what this video was about. I believe they will reprint new currency. Or maybe it won't be reprinted. Maybe it'll be gold. I don't know. Uh, I'm just saying what I would do. But uh, I don't believe, I believe it's going to be more of a trade type deal to start with. Uh, kind of like in the older days here, we had a, all the farmers here had a co-op type thing. It was called uh, GLF. Now it's called Eggway. But back then, all the farmers took their grains and stuff to a silo, a community silo, and they dumped it. Then whatever they pulled out, if they did pull it out, was taken off their tab or whatever you want to call it. And when it come time to sell the rest, the rest was sold, and then they got whatever was... But they could... They got whatever, you know, they got paid for it, basically. But if they grew corn and uh, say they put, we'll say they put a ton of corn in there. Then another farmer put a ton of wheat in a different silo. But the guy that put the corn in needed some wheat. They just off balance against each other, depending on which one was going for what. And... That's how it was done, and I think that's the way it'll be again eventually. But uh, it'll be a it'll be a trade type system. It has to start as a trade type system, and then then that trade type system will turn into a uh, a value of some sort. I don't know if it'll be a token or or uh, hard money or what, but it doesn't make any difference. Uh, I I think that's what's going to happen. And that's my own personal opinion. Now, I also see this I, this screen I've had up for a while, so it hasn't changed. But if I go back, I was I'm on the other computer. This RCRV, I believe, has unsubscribed to me because I didn't agree with what he said. We don't have to agree. We all have our own opinions. I'd be inter I'm, I'm interested in all these opinions. And I would like to see some more. Uh, and I'm sure there will be. But for right now, it is what it is. Uh, I just thought I'd take a few minutes and and go over these. And I'm hoping that it, it creates a little more conversation. Uh, so we get some more views on it. Because it's the different views. You take the best part of each view, put them together, and that's what fits you. And what I consider my view that I've taken from each one, you may take parts from each one. That may be your view, but it may not be exactly the same as my view. 
Anyway, that's it for now. This is Handsome Jack. I created a little controversy this morning, and it was, a, and I did not mean for this video to do that. So that'll be it for now. Handsome Jack of Have Gas Will Travel. We will catch you later. Be good. Have fun. Be prepared. Bye for now.